people have a concern about we have 10 murders for the year and only um, two cells so far. We have had better years. And I want to tell people, in spite of what you are saying, that very soon you should see some of those persons responsible end up before the court. You see a murder investigation is like a obscene language. Things are at a point where you have to get it right the first time. So sometimes it takes some time to get everything compact so that when you go before the court, you have the evidence or the information you receive converted into evidence, which you can now put that person before a court. Superintendent of Police Ruddell Kirk said sometimes after police officers work hard to put criminals behind the bars, they are granted bail. And even so, with all the hard work the police do in respect of a murder, murderers now are granted bail. And they come back within your community again, and the cycle repeats if you don't be careful. Officer Kirk said while some citizens are fearful to trust the police, they are embracing criminals within their homes. Who do you rather trust? And something that I've noticed over the past few months is that we are seeing some strange persons are being embraced and accommodated within the community, your community. Not only your community, we have seen it throughout Tobago. And even as recent as two weeks ago, a person was held in Golden Lane with possession of firearm. And he's from nowhere in Golden Lane. Kirk sought to make one thing clear. There are persons held elsewhere with possession of firearms, ammunition, drugs, you name it. And they are not even from within our communities. But you know what? We sit and say we don't trust the police. And yet, these people have been given your trust. So you take them, you feed them, you, you, you shelter them. And at the end of the day, they turn around and bite you. Elizabeth Williams, TV6 News.